Ladies and gentlemen, now we have Mitt Romney after defending President Trump 11 times. So you could say Mitt Romney defended President Trump 11 times. 11 amendments struck down by Republicans. Four witnesses, four um, requests by Chuck Schumer and Democrats. McConnell passed through his rules, his Senate rules. Eventually, they're going to vote again on witnesses. They're really interesting, and you're going to hear from Hunter Biden. I'm going to play you um, the interview from Hunter Biden, and which is really hilarious, actually. It's Hunter Biden defends uh, ethics of foreign ventures, ABC News. This is October 15, 2019. Trump should tweet this every day. It's hilarious. But here's an article. Romney now... He's not defending Trump. Now, Romney, it's very likely I'll be in favor of witnesses in Trump impeachment trial. Well, he hasn't been accused of anything specific. Or he hasn't been accused of a crime. There's no direct evidence that he even engaged in the allegation that they're throwing at him. There's no direct evidence that Trump, a year and a half prior to the election, withheld military assistance. Now, Democrats always say, you know, Trump without evidence claims. Well, Democrats without evidence claim that Trump withheld military assistance because he was afraid of Biden and wanted to interfere in the election. There are a whole lot of people who agree that Biden, Giuliani included, the guy who was fired, Shokin, the, the, the prosecutor in Ukraine that they fired, that, that, that Biden forced out in the Ukraine, forced uh, Ukrainian officials to fire in a quid pro quo saying you will not get a billion dollars in loan guarantees unless you fire this prosecutor who happened to be looking into the corruption of Burisma. There are a lot of people who could be trotted out into an impeachment setting and give testimony and give their opinion on to how corrupt Biden is. Democrats would, would still say there's no evidence, but on the flip side... Democrats brought out a whole bunch of people who don't like Trump. Then there's this whole thing about Maria Ivanovich. Trump had every right to fire any diplomat. Diplomats serve at the pleasure of the president. The Constitution states that diplomats, um, only, only Trump, only the president, the executive, can appoint and hire and fire diplomats. But... They have nothing on Trump. They have just opinion and viewpoint and conjecture and hearsay and gossip. They have no direct evidence. But they'll never say Democrats without evidence accuse Trump of withholding military assistance to interfere in the election. They'll never say that. But listen to this. This is really interesting. And this is why, okay, Biden is withhold, is, is now open to witnesses because he wants this to be prolonged. I mean, sorry, Romney. Romney, it's very likely I'll be in favor of witnesses in Trump's impeachment trial. Romney wants this to be prolonged. He's a senator. He feels important. And here, Utah Senator Mitt Romney says Saturday, it's very likely he will be in favor of calling witnesses in the Senate impeachment trial against President Trump. So he struck down, he helped struck down 11 amendments, amendment, 11 amendments, that uh, Democratic Party amendments. So he defended, tried to segment on him defending Trump. Now he's opposing Trump, Trump's interests, it's not like Bolton has anything. What's Bolton going to say? Yeah, I was part of an illegal act. Bolton's not going to say that. He has no direct evidence. If Bolton had direct evidence of anything, he would have already um, been forced to testify, testify in the House impeachment. But here, however, the GOP lawmaker said he will hold off on making his final decision until after Democratic impeachment managers and the president's defense lawyers conclude their opening arguments. So he's just trying to be in the limelight. I think it's very likely I'll be in favor of witnesses, but I've been, but I haven't made a uh, made a decision finally yet, and won't until the Senate testimony is completed. Romney said he knows there's nothing there. He knows this is all a charade, but he wants to be part of the charade. De these the Republicans like Romney want to feel important. They want to be like the lifeline. They want to be like the, um, you know, the the life raft. To Democrats, they want to say, "Oh, look, I'm the good Republican. My hair is quaffed. I put my 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 uh, my dog on on the uh, roof rack of my car, which is what he did for 12 hours. The poor animal got sick. Who does that? Mitt Romney does that. But listen to Biden. This is absolutely hilarious. Listen to Biden. Okay, this is an ABC. Hunter Biden defends ethics of foreign ventures. Now, can you imagine this guy on the witness stand? Check out how hilarious all of this is." 
And this is, and Mitt Romney knows all of this, but he's still siding with Democrats. It's interesting. Romney is a very interesting political creature. Just like Bernie Sanders. Mitt Romney and Bernie Sanders are political animals, political creatures. Okay, well, I mean, let's not even get into Bernie. He has one of his, his top supporters, Zephyr Teachout, a law school uh, law professor, writes a brilliant article in The Guardian. What does he do? What does Bernie Sanders do? Oh, I apologize to Biden. I mean, my God, the guy doesn't want to win. He does not want to. He's not going to win anyway. Clinton's going to be the nominee. But he doesn't, he doesn't even want to like create the allure that he's going to win, that he's trying to win. But here, check this out. This is absolutely hilarious. This will make your night. Check this out. I want to get to the heart of it. Did you and your father ever discuss Ukraine? No. As I said, the only time was after a news account. It wasn't a discussion in any way. There's no but to this. No, we never did. You're dead. The, wait, what? The only time was a news account? No, there's nothing? What is this guy talking about? Is he on narcotics already? You and your father ever discuss Ukraine? No. As I said, the only time was after a news account. It wasn't a discussion in any way. There's no but to this. No. <laughs> Did you or your father discuss Ukraine? I love how, like, ABC News, Ukraine, that's not about Ukraine, it's Burisma. Okay? And then he goes, the only time was after a news account, and then he corrects himself, no, never. Well, which one is it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Could you imagine this guy on the witness stand? Could you imagine... We never did. Your dad said, I hope you know what you're doing. I hope you know what you're doing. I do. And I said, I do. And that was literally the end of our discussion. Why? (laughs) Is it? Is it? The guy's getting 80 grand a month, and then Biden goes to his son. I hope you know what you're doing. (laughs) I hope you know what you're doing. And I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, Whatever, however, Biden would, would say that. And that's it? That was, that's, they only communicate in like, you know, short sentences? Is that, is that a good relationship anyway whatever of course these this is all these are all lies okay the whole thing was crooked he has no background you gotta listen to this like when he explains his background okay barisma is an energy energy corporation the largest energy corporation in ukraine okay check it out this is hilarious talks about how he worked for amtrak what so what hi because my dad was vice president of the united states there's literally nothing as a young man or as a Full grown adult that um, uh, my father, in some way, has not influence over, as it does not serve either one of us. When he said, "I." Yeah, the, the issue of nepotism has nothing to do with this. Actually, it's not that he was on the board of directors of a corporation because his father is Biden. That's not. I don't care. I really don't care about nepotism. If you want, if you can hook up your family, hook up your family. Okay, God bless you. I'm all for nepotism. I'm not for corruption. If you can, if if you were, if if your father is vice president and you are on the board of directors of a corrupt energy corporation in a country that Biden says is so corrupt he had to fire a prosecutor that just happened to be looking at that corporation, that's a problem that needs to be investigated. That would have already been investigated if it was Trump or Trump Jr. I hope you know what you're doing. What did he think you were doing? Well, he read the press reports that I joined the board of Burisma, which was a Ukrainian natural gas company. Yeah, he read the press reports, just like President Obama didn't know that his Secretary of State had private servers for four years with top secret intelligence on them. Yeah, that's, that, that really happened. This is a fantastic, I'm going to put this, I might put this in the pinned, in the, um, oh my God, I might put this in the uh, description section of every, of every segment. Oh my God, this is so great. Okay, check, the, okay, let's, let's continue. And there's been a, a, a lot of misinformation about me, not about my dad. Nobody buys that, but it buys this idea that I was unqualified to be on the board. What were your qualifications to be on the board of Burisma? Well, I was vice chairman of the board of Amtrak for five years. I was- Who cares if you were vice president of the board of Amtrak? Is this a, are, you, were you, are you working as a board of directors member of a Ukrainian train company? Was the chairman of the board of the UN World Food Program. I was the UN World Food Program? What the f- does that have to do with natural gas? The lawyer for Boyce Schiller Flexner, one of the most prestigious law firms in the world. Ooh. So what? Were you doing. Why were you on the board of directors? 
Why were you on the board of directors? You know, they they didn't have a legal department. Did they ask you any questions? I mean, do you, do you? I mean, there are different components of international law and and law within the Ukraine and law within the United States. Or, I mean, did you deal with energy companies as a lawyer at this prestigious law firm? You didn't have any extensive knowledge about natural gas or Ukraine itself, though. Uh, no, but I think that I had as much knowledge as anybody else that was on the board. I... <laughs> what kind of board of directors is this? Oh, my God. Was Chelsea Clinton on it? I mean, I had he had as much knowledge of natural gas as anyone else on the board, so basically nobody else had knowledge. They had a board of directors who didn't speak Ukrainian and Russian because uh, Hunter doesn't speak Ukrainian and Russian. Look. This is corrupt. What's corrupt about it is the conflicts of interest are so apparent and obvious. If it were the other way around, oh my God, could you imagine what Trump Jr. and and Eric Trump or Jared Kushner, could you imagine what they'd be doing? Media would be salivating. They wouldn't say, oh, it's been debunked, it's been debunked. Nothing's been debunked, nothing's been investigated. Rudy Giuliani has sworn affidavit from the guy who was fired. That prosecutor that Biden is talking about, bragging about firing, there's a sworn affidavit Giuliani has from that guy saying that Hunter, um, that Biden uh, fired him because of Hunter. But this is really hilarious. Let's continue. If not more. In the list that you gave me of the reasons why you're on that board, you did not list the fact that you were the son of the vice president. Of course. Yeah, no, I, I, what role do you think that played? I think that it is impossible for me to be on any of the boards that I just mentioned without saying that I'm the son of the vice president of the United States. You were paid 50... Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. Uh, Amtrak is not located in Ukraine, and Trump didn't... I mean, uh, Biden didn't fire a prosecutor looking into Amtrak, the Ukrainian train company. Th- see, you have to explain things to Democrats very slowly. When they... When it's about them... Plausible deniability is their very existence, their lifeblood. Oh, my God almighty. If plausible deniability... You can't prove that money went into the Clinton Foundation from Uranium One and President Obama failed to veto the sale of 20% of U.S. uranium capacity as there was a um, uh, bribery and racketeering scandal on U.S. soil regarding a Russian uh, official sent by Putin and Mueller was actually Obama's FBI director. You can't prove anything. You have no direct knowledge. Yeah, because Clinton deleted 30,000 emails. (laughs) And she used private servers. And when they were investigating her, the FBI struck and and the Justice Department signed agreements. They actually signed agreements with uh, Clinton saying they would never look at Clinton Foundation emails. Which is hilarious because they were all deleted. And it's part of the 30,000 emails deleted. But see, this is hilarious. I mean, if, could you imagine if nobody talks about this interview? This interview is... And Romney... Romney is uh, either opening the door to Hunter being called. Because if he's going to get... If he wants Bolton, that means he's going to be open to, to Hunter. And Romney knows what's going on. He's an, Mitt Romney is an intelligent man, okay? He might be like, you know, a turncoat here and there regarding, well, he just might not like Trump and he want, he might just want to do whatever is in his best interest. That might not be a turncoat, but he, he's probably thinking of running in 2024 as the good Republican. So he's, he's not, he's not, he's not a Trump person, but he is when it, it suits him. So here, let's just continue. $50,000 $50,000 a month for your position? Look, I'm a private citizen. One thing that I don't have to do is sit here and open my kimono as it relates to how much money I make or make or did or didn't. But it's all... Yeah, well, you, you do for the paternity case, though. That's the thing. Been reported. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I, I don't think that there's a... Well, probably not. You've just admitted then that it's a it, the fact that your your fa- his father is the vice president and the point man because they always have these democrats have these great names like smart power and point man the fact that he's a point man for ukraine that is a huge issue i actually really feel sorry for 
this gentleman. Like, I, I don't have any animus towards Hunter Biden. In fact, I just want Clinton to run so we don't have to hear about Hunter Biden. And, and God bless him. Like, I don't have anything. Like, honestly, God bless this guy. He's going through issues and, you know, he's probably still going through issues. We'll always go through issues with, you know, drug abuse and all that stuff. Not, you know, it's very difficult to shake. So I wish him only the best regarding that. I don't want to talk about Hunter Biden. But if you go after the president, if you're part of a political party that goes after the president and tries to ruin the lives of everyone around Trump, then you're fair game for just questions like, um, did Biden fire the prosecutor because he was looking into the corporation hiring his son, on, where his son was the board of directors uh, of that corporation, where, he sat, where his son sat on the board of directors of. So the thing is, let's continue, let's continue. A lot of things that would have happened in my life that uh, that if my last name wasn't Biden. Why did you leave the board in April? It's a five-year term. And you chose not to. I chose not to. Why? I think it's pretty obvious why. Well, why? Why? Why is it obvious? If there was nothing wrong, why not stay on the board? See, okay. I mean, he's all he's all over the place here. He's saying, but yeah, the reason he was on the board of directors is because his name is Biden. It's obvious why he left because there's too much heat, there's too much exposure on all of this. But if, if he was there because of his Amtrak experience, what's the problem? Why would you leave a company that there's no problem with you? If there's no problem with Hunter Biden being on the board of directors of Burisma, then why leave? Because with scrutiny or without scrutiny, there's nothing there anyway. What's the problem? Don't you want 80 grand a month? So you mean you're going to give up 50 to 80 grand a month because of some media coverage? If there's nothing, if there's no issue, like Democrats were always throughout the Mueller probe. Well, if you have nothing to hide, what's wrong with the investigation? Let's go. You're acting guilty. How many times have they said you're act- Trump's acting guilty? Well, are the Bidens acting guilty? Oh, yeah, they never spoke about it. He left the board. Uh, just coincidentally, five-year term. He, he just didn't want the eighty grand a month. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about that. Why would you not want fifty to eighty thousand dollars a month to be on the board of directors where they don't even they don't even need you to have any expertise? You're just there because of your name, which is what Hunter Biden admitted to. Why would you leave the board of directors paying you fifty to eighty thousand dollars per month? Just because of some media attention. Why? Because the media attention obviously sheds a whole a great deal of light onto either overt corruption, possible criminality, uh, definite conflicts of interest, and a whole lot of questions like, did Biden fire the prosecutor because his son was on the board of directors of Burisma? This is your opportunity to say why. Well, because this is what becomes a distraction, because I have to sit here and answer these questions. And so that's why I've committed that I won't serve on any boards or I won't work um, uh, directly for any foreign entities when my dad becomes president. Do you think that should be a rule across the board for any administration? No, look, that's the rule that I'm going to adhere to. Do you regret being on the board to begin with? No, I don't regret being on the board. What I regret is not taking into account that there would be a Rudy Giuliani um, and a um, and a president of the United States that would be listening to this this ridiculous conspiracy idea, which has again been completely debunked by everyone. No, it hasn't. It has been it has not been debunked. The only thing people say, which is which is accurate, is there's no direct evidence that Biden fired, forced the firing of Shokin because Hunter was on the board of Burisma. However, there's no, there was no direct evidence that Trump colluded with Russia, and they spent three years and the Mueller probe special counsel. So um, where's the fair play here? It's okay for Democrats to investigate without evidence of a specific crime, but it's not okay for, uh, for Giuliani to look into, A, DNC reaching out to the Ukraine, which was already in Politico and, and the Hill, already documented. So that's, that happened. That's, that, that happened with a greater certainty than Russia hacking the DNC. Nobody says that 
well, we're confident that uh, Chalupa or that other officials reached out to Ukraine. They did. That's a fact. The ODNI and DHS reports come with warranty disclaimers. Oh, we're confident. We're highly confident Russia. They're not certain Russia hacked the DNC. They, they indicted Russian intelligence officers based on the assessment of CrowdStrike, and they didn't even verify with certainty that CrowdStrike's information was accurate. There's no certainty with Trump, but there is certainty that Biden is on the board of directors and his father fired the, uh, attorney, the, the chief prosecutor looking into, the board, uh, looking into Burisma. So that's a big issue. And, you know, I think people are here. thinking, how could that not have crossed your mind? Or you wouldn't have felt just a little bit in your gut, like, maybe this isn't a good idea to go and sit on the board of this well, Canadian company. I said, to, I said to you, in retrospect, I right, wish that my judgment... Time, you never, it never, you never thought, this might not look right. You know what? I'm a human. And you know what? Did I make a mistake? Well, maybe in the, in, in the grand scheme of things, yeah. See, I feel bad. I feel bad for this guy. I'm a human. Hey, you're a human. Oh, you're a human. You're a human who got 80 grand a month, which is fine. See, I don't care. Look, Biden can go and be the, on the board of directors of Amtrak again, and they can pay him a million dollars a month. They can pay him $12 million a year. I wouldn't care. And then if, they, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't care. Okay. But if he's getting paid $3.4 million total by one estimate, and his fire fired a prosecutor, and he was on the board of directors because the uh, oligarchs who owned the energy company were smart enough not only to make billions or to steal billions, but also to realize that if they have the son of the vice president, U.S. foreign policy is then compromised in some manner. Do you think these people are dumb? Do you think these people don't know what's going on? They don't know what time it is? You think that oligarchs and multi-billionaires aren't smart enough to put the uh, vice president's son on their board of directors they're just they're just so naive along with everyone else let's continue yeah but did i make a mistake based upon some un ethical lapse absolutely not china no no absolutely not absolutely not. come on come on absolutely not Give me your thoughts below. So why did I play this? This What does this have to do with Mitt Romney? Yeah, well, Mitt Romney, he's going to then call for Hunter. So he's, he's, he's reaching out to Democrats in a political stunt. Yeah, I like Bolton. And Democrats are going, yeah, you stood up to Trump. And then he's and then he reach out to Republicans and say, well, I wouldn't mind seeing Hunter. And then Democrats say, oh, my God, Mitt Romney wants Hunter too? This serves Clinton 2020. Clinton's going to be the nominee. There is no more Biden campaign. I mean, look, and I say this with all due respect, God bless Hunter Biden, and I only want happiness for him. I don't want him to succumb. He, the guy has a problem with narcotics and all this stuff, drugs and all that. I don't want him to succumb to this, you know, I, I, would, I don't want him to, to suffer even more from whatever. People make the decisions, and he had no problem taking the tens of thousands every month. But you could see from this 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 interview that my God, he's like crumbling. You could see, and and this was an ABC News like this was a favorable environment. Could you imagine? The beginning of the interview started with him contradicting himself, and it was a favorable ABC News uh, segment. Could you imagine if you had Rudy Giuliani? Could you imagine? It would be like you know. Like this pit bull going after Hunter Biden. So um, they Democrats live by investigating Trump based on nothing. Now Trump's going to return the favor, or Trump has been returning the favor with John Durham and uh, and William Barr, and now with Giuliani. They can't stand it because they are so utterly corrupt. It's unbelievable. Give me your thoughts below. Romney is then going to say, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm open to Hunter uh, testify. Give me your thoughts. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right this second.